Bibliocraft, a modern crafter's guide to using library resources to jumpstart creative projects by Jessica Pigza. So, so I found book and then so you get a forward introduction part one finding inspiration at the library and like a lot of the books I've been reading lately you'll have like what's in each not just the chapter but what's in each chapter so and then part two projects inspired by the library so project contents list part three is appendix so you get stitch guide sources for supplies acknowledgements credits index about the author kind of thing so in the introduction you're giving you're given information about the author and getting like photos of the craft to come and so um, botanist Anna Atkins used the Canto process to create photographs of British algae in 1843, nearly 200 years later. Natalie Shan Shannon studied Atkins images when creating her throw on and page 118. So then you get like this which is pretty cool and then you get like primary source imagery along with the image and then like researching stuff when you're in the library and kind of stuff and then so it, it kind of continues like different types of like libraries and like collections and then part two is when you get into the crafts so that first chunk is just like information and then you get project setup so you get the name and who like this one's designed by Jody Kane, and then you get what is needed. No wait, about the artist. So you got about the artist, some information about her, and then beyond this project, this printed fabric bag provides a glimpse of the possibilities for using marbled and other decorated and patterned papers as quickly applied design elements. Take a picture of it. And then you get finished dimensions, supplies, steps, and you get kind of like that kind of images to go along with it. And so you get information on like decorated papers. And then Another one is these decorated pillows designed by Jessica Pisga, so the author. And then some information about um, the pillows and stuff. And then finished dimensions, supplies, the steps, patterns that she used. And then, so you get a different aspect of, of the crafts instead of here's an image to use for a pillow or like secret message snowflakes you get a, like a history a meaning behind them so it's more than just a, like a step-by-step -step process and then you get different kinds of like images that you would see in like the older type of books like 
the maps and stuff, the animals in the previous image I just showed, and then, like, these designs here. So, they base it off of, like, this. So, title of this work, 1915 work, 10,000 designs. So, like, examples of, like, family crests and everything. So you get a nice variety of images that have been found in books used in crafts. So, and then in the resources, you just get a page of a stitch guide and then certain resources of where you can get um, arts and crafts supplies and information so yeah so if you're a book lover craft lover this can be a book to look into 20 plus projects from celebrated designers who love the library so in a bond doc um, Haley Pearson Cox, uh, let's see, Heather Ross and Jessica Pizza, but yeah, you get some neat little crafts to have a look at, so yeah, Biblicraft by Jessica Pizza, happy readings!